Hey everyone, this is Matthew Dale here with another video to help you play better, sound great, and understand more. And I thought today we would take a look at probably one of the most versatile and useful tools in the Fractal ecosystem, the control switches. Now these can be used for just about anything you can imagine, but I'm gonna show you today how to set up for toggling various effects and why that might be beneficial in your presets. Okay, so here we are in Axe Edit. I'm in my Axe FX 3 today, obviously, and this preset actually started life as one of my preset templates based around the uh, ODS 100 Clean. I've also got a few other channels of this amp that I have in this template, uh, including one that's set up for uh, the Dirt channel and then one with the preamp boost. But I'm going to keep it clean here today, and this is what I have to start out with. Beautiful clean amplifier. I'm running just a little bit of recording studio reverb and I'm going through the G12H65 cabinets that are in here. Factory Bank 2, 175 and 178. Now control switches can really be a great get out of jail free card uh, in the fractal stuff. So let me give you kind of this first example with delay. So I've got a delay here and if I engage this, <laughs> You can hear just a nice little subtle cloud of delay repeats. Something just for a little bit of added ambiance. Now, if I change channels, let's say I want something different for a lead tone. If I change channels on the delay, listen to this. Hear how when I changed over to channel B, we had this lift because this second channel, this, this other channel in here, is a bit more of a in-your-face delay. So if we're using the uh, channel switching feature um, to do this, we can run into that issue of these artifacts that pop in. Here, I'm gonna go the other way now from channel B to A. And it's a little more of a drastic drop off because of the different settings. So rather than using the channels, I'm gonna use another delay block in here. Uh, and that's the 2290 that I had on channel B from before. But now I'm gonna put a control switch on the bypass. So let's do this on control switch one. There it is. And I want this to um, be engaged on the control switch on function. And I'm gonna go around to here, the other guy. And this is gonna be control switch off. So. Let's go to control switch one and we're gonna flip these parameter ranges around. So now I've got this set up on my FC6 down here where I've got the control switch. When I click this, I'm toggling the effects. So I've got more of a natural segue from each delay sound. Much more natural. And that's also because of the bypass mode that I have these in. Uh, because these are hooked up in parallel, I'm running each bypass mode in mute in. So I'm muting uh, the input of the block and that way the output of the block, the delay tails aren't affected. Let's take this a little more to the nth degree. Let's say I wanna set up my control switch for kind of like a master uh, clean tone and then lead tone situation. So on my clean tone, I'm going to want some compressor and some of this glorious stereo eight stage phaser. I love the way that phaser sounds. Sounds so good. Um, and then Pretty much stock settings on the stereo FF compressor. Uh, I'm just bringing the mix down a little bit and adding a little bit of level to hit the front of the amp a little bit more. Now let's set this up in the same way. Add a modifier on control switch one. Clean tone was set to minimum and the max, uh, these were flipped. So that's what I will do here. There is that guy. Let's do the phaser, same situation. Flip it around. And now I've got my clean tone effects and they all go off. And I'm back to the delay that I'm gonna want for my lead tone. Let's set up my lead tone. I've got the Zen Master going in to the ODS 100 with a little bit more drive and level. 
So let's set that over to control switch one, keep it as it is, like the delay is, and then let's also add a little bit of the pitch block as well, because why not? Control switch one again, uh, keeping the minimum max values the same. So now I've got my lovely clean tone. And then at the hit of one switch, my lead tone. And then back clean. Lead. Now, some of you might be out there saying, well, yeah, that's great and all, but I could actually use the scenes function in the fractal to do all of the same thing. And that is true. That's a great use of the scenes function in the fractal stuff. But here's another sort of philosophy. What if I use the scenes functionality to swap amp and cab types? So I could set all of my effects to scene ignore. And I'll go ahead and do this real quick. The phaser, the pitch block, which I guess was already there, and the delays. Everything is scene ignore. So now what I've done is over in scene two, I went ahead and I put in the band commander and changed my cabinet to uh, some twin reverb cabs. And then I have the Brit JM45 and then some greenback cabs in scene three. So now all of those amps and cabinets can get the same type of effect suite treatment. So if I go over to the band commander, and then I can switch effects. Or I could also leave the effects on, go over to the JM45. And I can move things around in that direction as well, which can be kind of a fun approach um, when you look at the fractal in this way. Super flexible. Of course, there is more than one way to skin a cat, but I think this is a pretty cool approach. If you'd like to learn more about some of the amazing amplifiers and some of my favorite cabs that are baked into the Fractal universe, then you should check out my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide. And if you'd like to take your music theory knowledge to the next level, then you should download my Essential Music Theory Cheat Sheet as well. I believe really two things about music theory. One, we make it way harder than it really needs to be. Anyone can learn music theory if you take a very simple approach. And two, learning music theory will only help you grow as a musician. It's not going to, you know, you're not going to backpedal any. So if you'd like to have a much clearer understanding of music theory, that will also be in the description box below. My name is Matthew Dale. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.